Welcome to this video in which we will be performing the motion study analysis of this system. So let's start. So select this motion study and in here drag this button from here to here 10 seconds okay and then select this setting option and specify here 50 frames per second okay and then check this box and after that select this contact option and then select all of these bodies one by one and then check this box and after that we have to select this motor option so select this motor option and assign the direction to this shaft okay and uh, drag down here and here we have to specify the speed as 20 rpm so specify as 20 rpm and then check this box now press this calculate button and here you can see the moving shaft but the problem is only shaft is rotating we want the bearing to rotate as well so stop this uh, motion study uh, press this motor button again and then select this outer race of the bearing this one okay and uh, drag down and specify the speed as 20 rpm and then check this box so now press the calculate button and here you can see the rotation of the shaft and the bearing as well now let's uh, uh, press the motor button again because we want to assign the motor to this bearing as well and specify the speed as 10 rpm this time okay and then check this box so let's assign the same rpm to the other bearing as well so for that right click on this option and select here edit features and then specify here 10 rpm rather than 20 okay and then check this box again so both the bearings uh, have been assigned 10 rpm and the shaft have been assigned 20 rpm press the calculate button again and now you can see they are working fine and now we are only left with one more feature so let's do that press this uh, button here and drag this button from here to here press ctrl c and then and then right click at this point and press ctrl v from your keyboard okay so button will appear here again so right click at this option in view orientation specify front plane similarly right click at this option and in view orientation specify the asymmetric view and then adjust you can adjust these buttons and then uh, press the calculate option and then press the play button and in this way you can orient your motion study analysis like this so if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you